Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Keto Vlogs. Do you want to know if you're fat adapted? Well, I have a few tips and tricks that just might let you know. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, welcome back to Cruise Keto Vlogs. I'm super excited to be doing this video for you guys. And I have got so many DMs from you guys from my Instagram and on a Twitter asking me if I can do a video on how to know if you're fat adapted or not. So I figured I would go ahead and make this video for you guys so that way you know if you are fat adapted or not. Just a few tips and tricks that I've learned along my keto journey that helped me know if I was fat adapted. Plus I will throw in a few tips and tricks along the way through this video to help you out. So tip number one is mental clarity. When you start your keto lifestyle, you're going to notice a lot of changes happening with your body. When you first start a keto, you're going to notice that your body is flushing out all of that water. So you're going to lose a good five to 10 pounds of water weight within your first two weeks of ke uh, starting keto. So keep that in mind. Um, it's just going to flush you out. Um, that's just your body getting rid of all of that um, carby sugary stuff in, in your system and it's flushing it out and it's helping your body transition into burning fats and car uh, excuse me and in transition into burning carbs and sugars into burning fat as a fuel so that's one thing that you're going to notice when you start your keto lifestyle is um, a lot of water weight now with water weight comes mineral deficiency so you're going to want to stock up on your minerals um, Prove it has a good electrolyte pack that you can use if you if you want to know anything about that I will leave the link to my website down below um, get you some good mineral salt Redmond's real salt is really good the uh, Celtic salt is really good and the pink Himalayan salt is really good just um, a little tip to know if you've got mineral salt is if you put some in your water and there's a little bit of um, like grit at the bottom of your water you know that's um, a good mineral salt but if there's nothing down in there it's probably not a good mineral salt so um, just a tip for that but like I said just go ahead and stock up on your minerals and it will help your body replace all of those minerals that you're losing within your first start of your keto lifestyle so like I said tip number one is mental clarity now after you get done with all of your water weight you're going to start noticing that you have less brain fog less brain fog you're going to have more mental clarity more focus um, just in general you're going to notice that you are concentrating on one task at a time and you're getting that task done without being scatterbrained and going to do 50 million things at once so you're definitely going to notice that you're going to concentrate better on tasks in general like if you're say for instance you're cleaning or you're going to school you're going to have more focus on what you are doing rather than just your brain going 50 miles an hour and it's trying to concentrate on 10 things at once you're going to have more focus on that one thing that you are doing right there at that time and in that moment you're going to have more focus on that subject that you're doing so mental clarity is a big one for me because I'm scatterbrained if if I don't do one thing at a time I will do 50 things at a time and I've noticed that when I started my keto journey I had a lot more focus in what I'm doing at that point in time so that is a great great benefit of the keto lifestyle tip number two is high energy now when I first started keto lifestyle I was very lethargic I didn't want to do much I just um, did what I had to do and then that was it for the day 
you know, I would do my daily cleaning routine, my laundry and stuff like that. And then I was just like, Psh, I'm done. I don't want to do anything else. I just want to sit down and do nothing for the rest of the day. And when I come across the keto lifestyle, it completely changed my energy. I have so much more energy now. I can get more stuff accomplished during the day because I sleep better at night. I get a more restful sleep at night so that way I am more concentrated at the day and getting what I need to get done during the day because I'm a, a habitual person that wakes up during the night. Um, I will wake up to roll over. I will just wake up in general. I will wake up because my husband's snoring. I will just wake up 500 times at night. I know that's an over exaggeration, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, I will just wake up so much at night and I wasn't getting that really restful, peaceful sleep. And when I started the keto lifestyle, I noticed during my first week that I was getting a more deep, more restful, peaceful sleep at night. And I was waking up with all of this energy and um, just ready to start the day and get what I had to get done which is a great bonus for me because I get more stuff accomplished in the day now and it's great. So I will wake up with my daughter and I will be just full of energy, ready to start the day and I will just clean. I will do errands and, and just all kinds of stuff and I will have more focus on what I'm doing. So that's another great, great benefit of the keto lifestyle. And a tip number three is you're not going to have all of those carby, sugary cravings anymore. Now, this might take a while for you to get rid of those carby, sugary cravings because it took me about three months to get rid of those carby, sugary cravings because your body has to go through that transition and it's it's got to get rid of all of those carbs that you have packed on and all of those sugars that you have packed on and it's got to burn through that first so you can start tapping into your unused fat sources so your body can run off of that instead of fuel now when your body transitions into burning fat instead of carbs and sugars you're going to notice that your carbs and sugar cravings are going to dissipate they're going to dissipate very drastically you're not going to want that carby substance you're not going to want that sugary dessert because you're quite satisfied on your fats that you're eating now if you do get a carby or sugary craving then make sure you are eating something that is keto friendly now there's loads and loads of recipes out there that you can find on youtube and you can find on pinterest that you can incorporate into your lifestyle to help curb those cravings. Now, when I first started keto, Pinterest was a big part of, of my life and YouTube was a big part of my life because I was researching, I was researching, researching. And that's another tip and trick that I have for you. Before you start or when you start your lifestyle, make sure you do research. Um, just find out as much information as you possibly can on the lifestyle and then go from there. Now, with Pinterest, you have to be careful because there are a lot of recipes out there that say keto and are not very keto friendly. Um, but there's plenty, plenty out there that are. So just make sure you read the ingredients list on those recipes and make sure that they are keto friendly before you jump into those recipes. Now there's many, many recipes out there that can help you on your journey from carby cravings to sugary cravings to salty cravings in your lifestyle. Just find one that works for you and um, try that. Now another tip is that um, sometimes your body will be craving salt when it's wanting sugar so try a little bit of salt before you do your sugar craving you know before you dive into that sugar artificial sugar or anything like that um monk fruit stevia or something like that 
only on the keto diet. So make sure you try the salt first before you make a recipe for something that is sweet because sometimes your body is craving salt but it's interpreting it as being a sugar craving. So just try that first and uh, wait a few minutes and see if your craving subsides. And if it does not subside, then go ahead and make your sweet treat. Now, as far as carby cravings, like uh, pizzas or burgers or anything like that, there are low carb breads out there. I don't recommend having them all of the time because you can make them at home like the 90 second bread and stuff like that so I'm not saying that you can't have them I'm just saying to limit them on your journey but there are plenty of breads out there that are very low carb that you can have on your lifestyle so tip number four is fat loss now like i said before when you first start your keto lifestyle you're going to notice a drop in weight very drastically i'm not i'm not saying something like 50 to 100 pounds in two weeks that is not the case don't even don't even think that now what i mean by drastically is you might lose from anywhere to two pounds up to 15 pounds of water weight within your first two to three weeks possibly four weeks on your keto lifestyle so just be mindful that is water weight and after you get rid of your water weight is when you start your keto weight loss um, that is very very accurate I should say on the keto lifestyle because you're going to lose weight rather quickly within your first couple of weeks of the keto lifestyle and then after that, if you stay on any type of keto lifestyle, whether it be strict keto, lazy keto, dirty keto, or anything like that, you're going to lose weight. Now, you're not going to lose 5 pounds, 15 pounds in just a few days. It just doesn't work that way. But you will notice between 1 to 5 pounds um, per 1 to 2 weeks just depending on how much you exercise, how strict you are on your keto diet, um, and stuff like that. So fat loss is a big, big factor in the keto lifestyle. So you are going to lose weight and it's going to stay off as long as you stay on the keto diet. Um, now, when you get to your goal weight, you want to switch from losing weight to maintaining weight which that is a whole nother video and we will get in that later. But right now we're just going to stick with fat loss. So like I said, the keto lifestyle will make you lose weight as quickly as possible, but it will not make you lose weight surprisingly drastically, if that makes sense. It's not going to make you lose 50 pounds in a week. It just does not work that way. So. Fat loss is a big, big deal on the keto lifestyle because a lot of people do the keto lifestyle to lose weight. And the next tip is you can go longer without meals. Now, say for instance, when I get up in the morning, I'm not hungry. I will not eat until maybe 12, 1 o'clock during the afternoon. And then I will eat, but I only eat if I'm hungry. If I'm not hungry, I won't eat. I'm not going to force myself to eat when I'm not hungry. But a main meal that I eat for breakfast that keeps me fueled and keeps me energized during the day is eggs and bacon with um, real butter. Not the margarine knockoff butter, but real, real butter. And those fats are going to help you stay full for longer. And if you eat a full fat meal, you're going to stay fuller for longer because your body is holding on to that fat and it's using that fat to burn instead of carbs and sugars. So you're going to stay fuller for longer and it's not as quickly digested as a carby meal. Say for instance, you get up and you skip breakfast and you go straight into lunch and you have a burger from McDonald's 
you're going to be hungry within 30 minutes because it's a it's a very carby meal and your body is just using that like sugar it's going to rev you up rev you up and then 30 minutes later you're going to crash you're going to be hungry as far as a high fat a low carb meal your body is going to stay full and it's going to use those fats and it's going to fuel your body longer because it takes longer for your body to digest those foods so keep that in mind when you go on the lifestyle because you will notice that you are not as hungry and you do not eat as much during your day so which is a, another great benefit of the keto lifestyle and another thing when it comes to meals is you can skip meals say for instance if you get up in the morning and you're not hungry you can skip breakfast and go straight into lunch if you're hungry um, I've done that on occasion although I do still try to eat as breakfast friendly as possible for my lunch because I know it's going to satiate me and it's going to keep me full for longer so especially if you use high fat um, in your meals like real butter ghee tallow stuff like that it's going to help keep your body satiated so you will be able to skip a meals because you you're not going to be hungry so which is another great benefit on the keto lifestyle is that you can go longer uh, you can go longer amounts of time without eating now I'm not saying that you should not go without eating because you're eventually going to get hungry unless you're fasting I would recommend you eat within an eight hour period of your day so that way you keep your body fueled now if you're fasting um, you can fast however you want that's completely up to you but I do recommend doing a 16 8 hour fast just to help your body adapt better to the keto lifestyle and another way to know if you are fat adapted is you can test your ketones now there are a few ways that you can test your ketones you can do the urine test you can do the blood test or um, whatever tests they have now I do use a keto mojo to test my ketones and blood sugar levels so I think that's a little bit more accurate than the blood uh, the uh, the urine test because after a while your urine is going to stop showing ketones so doing a blood test just a little prick on the finger and you just uh, put your blood into the little machine and it's going to tell you your ketones and your blood sugar level and it's going to help you know if you are in ketosis or not which is another word for fat adapted but uh, you can test in the morning just to get a baseline for your level for the day and then you can test again at lunch and you can test again at dinner um, your glucose should be between 80 and 95 now some people are a little bit higher and a little bit lower than that it just depends on you um, and your ketones should be around 1.0 to 1.9 now um, if you are above the 1.9 I don't think you would be in ketosis um, so I would definitely keep an eye on your ketone and blood sugar levels and make sure they're in the accurate place that they need to be so that it helps keep you in ketosis and you burn that fat faster and you lose weight more quicker so just keep that in mind when you are doing the keto lifestyle that you um, randomly check your ketones to make sure you are in the most accurate place for your blood sugar and ketone levels to make sure that you are in ketosis and that you are staying fat adapted um, so I do check mine at least once a week just to make sure that I am fat adapted now um, if you're not fat adapted just jump back into that keto lifestyle a little bit stronger and uh, you will jump start your body back into that ketosis and into that fat adaptation so it's a lot to take in you guys but we did it 
So I'm just going to end this video right here because I don't want to keep on talking and yammering at you guys because we've went over the five tips and tricks with a few thrown in there just to help you understand and learn how to know if you are keto adapted or fat adapted within your keto lifestyle. And now I hope this video helped you out a little bit and you learned something from it. If you did, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. I would love for you to join the family. It's completely free. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun here, you guys. A lot of learning and vlogs and stuff like that. And everything that I learned within my journey, I will share it with you guys. So, so hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that notifica uh, notification button down below so you won't miss out on any of my videos, guys. I upload new videos every single week. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.